Okay, this is just a very quick video on how to fix a disk read error. Unfortunately, um, there's no magic trick to actually getting it working. Uh, loads of people have said if you move actual this over, it will fix the problem. Uh, some people say move this cable and it will fix the problem, but to be honest, none of them work. The only surefire way of fixing it is to actually replace the UMD reader, which is this. Um, it's round about £10 on eBay. Um, you can get them from Japan. Just make sure that you get the right model number. To check the model number of your PSP, just turn it over. Take out the battery and just double check. So this is a PSP 1000 model. Um, once you've got the right reader, you can actually pry this cover off. It's held on by two clips on this side. So these two clips, push them down and it will take off the cover, it will disconnect it. In here, these are just clipped in, so once you open it, just be very careful, and then you pry it open all the way, and then take one corner out, and then the other corner will slide out. Also, you've got one, and then you've got two, and then you've got three, and then you've got four screws. Once you take all four screws out, you'll get the actual face off. Once you take the face off, you'll have to unclip the home button keys. Again, you've got a little you um, little connection ribbon cable. You just pop it up and unclip it. With the screen, try to not to use any tools because you could risk cracking it. So just basically prise it off with your fingers. Once you prise off the screen, what you do is um, you'll see this just basically like that underneath unclip this ribbon cable and unclip this ribbon cable and then you've got four screws that attach it to the actual PSP case you'll see one screw will be there one will be there one will be there and one will be there just unscrew all four screws and then that's it that comes out fit your new unit in and just make sure that you've uh, pushed all of these all the way in if you don't it won't read and also um, one problem that I did encounter when I pushed this uh, put the screen on I could hear sound but nothing was coming on and that was because the ribbon cable behind the monitor wasn't plugged in properly so just make sure one last thing if your thumbstick goes crazy just make sure you remove this and they've two tabs that you have to lock into the screen if you do not lock these into the screen uh, then your uh, joypad and your arrow keys will not work simply once you've done that all you do is you just put the case back on put the screws back in um, so you've got again one two one under here three and four put the battery back in and just test it don't screw it together just in case you've left something off um, in this case, I've already done it, so fingers crossed. There you go, screen's working. If you hear a nasty grinding noise, uh, it's going to be your uh, UMD reader. Um, it did sound like a sanding machine before. Uh, once you take the battery out, it'll obviously ask you for the time and date and everything, so just skip that. And then you can hear the UMD spinning. And there you go, all fixed. I hope this helps. Enjoy.